What's up, what's up, y'all, and welcome back to Cigar Lifestyle and Reviews with your host, Enoch, the Cigar Emperor. Uh, today, y'all see I got my CAO, uh, but I also have my 1875 Romeo Aoleta. But today, we're not doing particularly a cigar review, and these are nice, this is important, handmade CAO. A lot of y'all, you like this brand. But today, I'm not doing a particular cigar review. I'm doing a particular video on how to cut cigars uh, <clears throat> i was asked to do a video like this a long time ago because there are a lot of people not even just beginners a lot of people who've been smoking cigars for a while that actually still don't know how to properly cut a cigar and i'm going to tell you something making the wrong cut on a cigar can actually ruin your cigar to the point of tobacco in your mouth or your wrapper unraveling uh, it can actually make your make your smoke uh, not good not comfortable so today I'm gonna to give y'all the proper tips on how to properly cut a cigar and then my next video will be the proper way to light a cigar because that seems to be a problem still too in the cigar world uh, but hey man each one teach one so I'm gonna start with this particular CAO cigar as you can see just a regular uh, what we call a perio shape uh, small like robusto just got the round tip but i want to i want to show y'all something and i have my double i have my double cutter my zika double blade cutter which is i think the best for a straight cut uh <clears throat> a lot of different people and I also and this is why i have the two different shapes i should have brought out more cigars but i want to just start off with a simple uh straight cut and yes i do have a v cutter but I'm not one. I don't really want to show V cut in here because V cut is basically kind of simple. Simple, because with a V cut, with with with, with a particular shape of a toler like this, you would just simply stick it there, and it has a it has a resistance on your V cutter, so you can't go too far, and it won't it won't allow you to cut too far into the cap or head anyway. So with the V cut, it's kind of simple to make the V cut. So I'm not gonna really talk about the V cut today. I'll do a separate video just on V cutting. But it, there is a particular topic of some people that like to V cut <coughs> uh, pyramid ends or torpedo ends. I won't recommend that. Most of the cigar aficionado world wouldn't recommend that. The consensus is against actually V cutting these, but some people like doing it. I wouldn't do it. I always straight cut these. But I'm going to talk about that too. But um, because I'm going to tell you why. The reason the reason you really don't want to V-cut a torpedo or pyramid uh, head. Because actually it restricts the flow. Some people think it opens up the flow. But it actually restricts your, your flow and your smoke. But I'll get off into that later. But um, okay. So with the regular cut. I want to show y'all something. Some people just seem to you see people in cigar lounges or wherever they're at. And you just stick this. They just stick it in any type of way, just cut off something, thinking they're cutting off a cap, and actually they're cutting off into a head. And a lot of times how you can tell where the cap ends, because you just want to cut off the cap. This is what you call the cap right here. You can see that there's a little line. Sometimes you can see like a defined line that I talked about before. You can look at your, cig your cigars a lot, you can see like a defined line, which shows your cap, then this is your shoulder. This would be considered your shoulder. You just want to basically cut that cap. So let me show you. So you put that in there. Just, you see, I just barely got, I, I'm just right at the cap because I'm right at that definition of that line. You see? Doop, and that's it. Then what I do, I either knock this over in the ashtray like that, or I take my finger and knock the little extra wet, 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 uh, tobacco off, and that's it. And I'm ready to, to light this thing. Now, <clears throat> a lot of times, then after you do that, you do what we call a cold jaw. Doing the cold jaw, you can actually feel air restriction or air flow without even lighting a cigar. This is why we always do uh, cold draws, not only for taste, pre-taste, but we do it to make sure we actually got enough, we cut off enough. Because one thing about it, if you don't cut off enough, you can always do another slight cut. It's no big deal. You can go in there and just take off another few little centimeters or whatever but it's always best to cut off little and not a lot because you can always <coughs> you can always fix your cut if you didn't cut off enough you can always go back and cut off again so you just do a cold jaw and i think that's a perfect cut because i feel a lot of air just coming through and i, I feel a lot of taste this is a tasty cigar anyway 
<clears throat> I think that's a perfect cut, honestly, because I'm feeling an extra airflow. And that's, that's one way you can test it. Now, let's go to the pyramid, or what we call the torpedo end. Like I said, I have my V-cutters here with me, but I'm not going to use it on this. Definitely not going to use it on that. Not me, and I wouldn't advise it. Um, but now, with the torpedo end, you don't have a lot of defined as far as the line like you would on the regular perio shapes or the robustos and so forth or the rounded end, the rounded heads and caps but you do have a particular percentage that we know is least is at least you want to cut off at least a quarter so a lot of times you won't see a line and sometimes you can on some torpedo cigars depending on who rolled it who was by you can see a little line but right here you really can't see a defined line so you definitely want to cut off too much so what I do I go about a quarter inch Y'all see that? Just, just want to get a little quarter inch of it. And some people always talk about, well, should, should, should I cut it in an angle, 45 degree? That's up to you. But just make sure you don't. The key to a perfection cut is to not cut off too much of the head because you're just going to mess up the cigar. It's going to unravel in your mouth. The back is going to be going all in your mouth while you're smoking. You don't want that. But some people cut it at angles, 45 degrees. Me, I just do a straight cut when I do a straight cut. I keep it simple and plain and light my cigar. And enjoy my smoke but if you want to cut at an angle make sure it's a good angle just still don't cut off into the head so you see that about a quarter inch hit that about right 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 about right there and i'm good knock this off in the ashtray and there you go now i see i know yeah definitely that definitely didn't go sometimes you can squeeze like that though that feels a little tight. <clears throat> so, with that being said, I can feel the tightening without even lighting it. I just might just take off a little bit more. Just take off a little, just a little bit more. But you can't hardly even tell what I'm taking off. See what I'm saying? Just take off a little bit more. That's it. That's it. So, with that being said, man. That is the proper way to cut a scar. Now, some people, I've been around, um, oh, the wind is picking up. I've been around some cigar aficionados, especially some of the ones that I came up under, some Cuban aficionados. They would actually sometime, <laughs> just straight up, they would sometimes just take their fingernail and just pinch off that cap. I mean, they would know what they were pinching off. They would actually take their fingernail or some would just actually just take something, take like a, maybe a, a screw and just screw make a little hole pinch them out now that is the way they was doing that and a lot of these guys they own they worked in cigar fields they had been smoking years before i was smoking and a lot of them taught me cigar etiquette but i wouldn't do that and i would advise against that with the fingernail or the screw because what you're going to do what's what, what's going to happen you're going to leave exposed that wrapper and you don't want to do that you don't want to leave that exposed because that can restrict the airflow and taste as well. So get you. Oh, another another thing that can mess up the good cigar. Cheap cutters. Make sure you get some some good cutters. Invest in a good cutter. Invest in a good cutter. I don't care if it's Colibri's, car, whatever. Just get you some good cutters that you ain't got to worry about going dull soon because dull. Because I'm gonna tell you what happened with dull guillotine cutters or straight cutters. What you can do instead of slicing through the cigar through the cap like you want to then you'll pinch it and what will happen when the blades pinch it then it's going to be the same thing it's still going to be unraveling and going in your mouth so you don't want the blade to pinch the cap off you want a sharp blade that can slice you know what i mean so once you once you get that double guillotine you want one to just going slice not pinch or tear so that's that's another important point i'm glad I, I didn't forget before i close this video so um, I hope y'all got a uh, great understanding of that. Like I say, man, it's all about when you're dealing with these perio shapes or thing or, or robusto shapes. Just remember, you basically can, basically can see the uh, lining of the cap. You can see where the cap at because you don't want to because there's four parts to a cigar. Let me let me let me give some something on that. There's four black like, body parts of a cigar. What we consider, what we consider the cap, which what what we cut off, shoulders, then the head. Then you have the head. Then that's which is the, the 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 second part. Then you have what we call the body, which is the body of the cigar. Then you have the feet. 
So the only thing you want to take off of a cigar is the cap, which is a small piece. It's almost like a body, like, you know, like a person wearing a baseball cap. That's basically how you want to look at it. So you just don't, you don't want to cut into the head of the person. You understand what I'm saying? Or to the body. You just want to get that cap because if you cut into the head, like I say, you're going to have, most of the time you're going to have uh, uncomfortable smoke. So just get used to that. Like I say, just cut off a little bit. Some people, like even with, with, with when you see torpedoes, some people, I see some people just sticking the torpedo all the way in till it can't fit no more. Like if it's a big torpedo, they just, and they cutting too much off. They cutting too much off of the uh, off of the cap and the head. Uh, and they actually cheating themselves. And not only are they cheating themselves of good tobacco, they cheating themselves of a good smoke because, you know, they got to keep spitting and spitting tobacco out their mouth, keep adjusting, then the wrapper going around and you got to, yeah. so it's just going to be a terrible thing. So hopefully y'all got something out of the video, man. Uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and smoke one of these. I don't know. Ain't no telling. I'm already cutting heads off now. Uh, but listen, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'm Enoch the Cigar Emperor. And I will see y'all on my next video, How to Properly Light a Cigar. I'm out. Peace.